Hey, what's going on everybody? I finally made it here. We're at the Lot Pop office. Jason's inside. He says he did this crazy thing and built the up bus. We're here to check it out. Follow me, let's go. What are you doing here? I, you told me you built this bus. I got on a plane, I'm here. Well, I didn't think you're actually gonna do it. Yeah. Then you gotta go see it then. Now, it's not all done yet, but we're getting there and we're gonna have this thing ready to roll. All right, let's go take a look. All right, let's go. All right. Don't wait around for the up bus. Get in the driver's seat and take control of your operations. Are you ready to increase profitability, have better processes, and get proactive with your operations? Welcome to the Up Bus Podcast. Here's your hosts, Jason Harris and Jason Rice. Hey, 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 what's going on, Podcast Nation? It is Jason Harris, and I'm here with Jason Rice. Thank you for joining us on, an, on another episode of The Up Bus, where we get to talk about anything and everything we want to talk about when it comes to the automotive industry. Jason, man, how you doing? How, been ah, what's up? I'm doing good. You know, it's good? Uh, cold, winter. It's cold. It's getting a little cold, right? Getting prepared <laughs> for NADA. It's a lot going on. <laughs> oh, man, I'm excited about NADA. I really am. You know, like I'm, I was trying to think about this, like what, how many NADAs, NADAs is this for me? I, I think this is number 11, but there's a couple I may have missed. Um, but, you know, it's so funny to kind of see how the event has changed and evolved. And, you know, it's it, you, you go there to meet new friends, but then to meet all your old friends, too. Right. Like, it's, yeah. that's one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> you do yeah, anything you know, I, uh, until Sorry, I started, what? you know, we haven't bo having booths there. It's weird because it's exciting to see some of your clients coming up. Hey, you know, and um, and getting to meet them, you know, because, you know, we're to the point now sometimes, you know, we're signing up dealerships that, I mean, to be frank, I don't, I'm not aware of. Right. You know, I'll see names. I'm like, is that a client? And, and it's a shame. But we get to that point where, you know, I, obviously there's a lot moving. So to have some of these dealers come up and say, oh, yeah, I love our rep and they're doing great and, and so forth. So just to hear some of those stories is awesome. Uh, so meeting new friends, you know, that's a good, good part. Well, and then that just the networking, I mean, just talk about just fun, wild events, you know, just like, I think that was the, I, I what was it? Which NADA was it? I know I have a picture with vanilla ice. Um, oh, yeah. Those NADA parties. I can't remember which one that was, but you know, digital air, I think it's digital airstrike. They did that three tier. Yeah. Is that the one where they did the steamboat three tier around yeah. Alcatraz and stuff? Yeah, it was. The, I remember because, you know, their fascination yeah. with the orange is the same as mine. So, yeah, yeah they always um, put on a good show. You, you have to do kind of crazy, wild things like that to kind of cut through the noise there. I mean, it is Vegas, right? Yeah. It's like, you well, got to go big or you go home. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, that's where you're bringing this up. You know, we're, we're doing all this up bus stuff. And I did something crazy for, I figured, NADA. And I think it might be the first time it might be happening. <laughs> okay, crazy. What would you do? Well, um, you know, we've been talking about up us so much and I'm sitting there thinking, man, has it ever existed? Has anybody put one of these things together? And sure enough, I, I ended up getting a bus. bus. I, I bought a bus and I'm going to wrap the thing. I'm going to make this thing the actual up bus, you know, and get dealers to realize there's this fictitious thing that's always existed. Put it into reality. And I think we're going to shove this thing in our in our booth at NADA. You're, I you're think crazy. Are you serious? I did. 100%. You actually, you actually built the thing. Like you actually, it's either going to be the stupidest thing I've done or the most creative thing we've done, but it's done. Dude, no way. Like, I yes, can't. Sir. Okay. This is crazy. So, so you actually got a bus and you're going to wrap it up and deck it out and it's going to be the actual physical up bus like it's, it is going to be the example yeah exactly and that's the thing i mean it, it's this fictitious thing that's always been around in, in in the industry again kind of like that unicorn or bigfoot yeah right we always heard about it but does it really exist we're putting it in play and we're going to put that dang thing right in the middle. Like you said, it's Vegas. You got to go big or go home. And it's either, again, we're going to look like the stupidest people at the at the event or it's going to be one of the things go, did you see what lot popped in? Did you go to the booth? Did you see they got the actual up bus sitting there? And so I'm hoping that's going to be a reaction. Wow, man. Um, look, Jason, I've got to know you pretty well uh, over, over the last couple of years. And I, I kind of want to say I'm surprised. But then on one hand, I don't know if I'm really that surprised. <laughs> You know, like, um, yeah, man, talk about making a big, just 
audacious, hairy statement of just, you know, actually making this thing. Wow, dude, I can't imagine what this thing is. You know, it's so funny because like, you know, we, we've always talked about the up bus. I mean, yeah. you know, the first time I heard about the up bus, I was, it was the 2001 and I'm outside um, doing something I'm not supposed to, probably having a smoke uh, and, you know, waiting for the next person to come onto the lot. And here comes my manager at this time. His name was Bill. And he's like, Jason, what are you doing? Wait for the up bus. Get inside, make phone calls. And I was like, I didn't know what this thing, I'm like, I at, when he actually mentioned it, I was like, yeah. I had to ask somebody else. I'm like, hey, Bill said something about this up bus. Is this, when does it, do you know what the schedule is on this thing? I'm like, no, I'm just, <laughs> what time's the stop? No, exactly. What, I mean, and, you know, it? It, what, what's that? I think your mic went out a little when, bit. When, what was the first time? Did it, when was the first time you actually got introduced to the bus? When did you hear about it first? Well, so I started in 97. So yeah, I mean, 98, 99. And you know what? Um, you know, one of the things I did, I liked working the phone. So I did, I didn't like being out there waiting for the up bus. I like popping the phones when they came in, but you know, I thought about it. It's like, you know, what does that have to do with used corporations? What, you know, you guys help dealers turn in their inventory. But as we started integrating this lead data into the tool, we realized, man, there's so many opportunities that dealers are just passing on. They're already in their database, their customers, they're interested in a large pickup truck around 40 grand and the vehicle sold or it didn't sold, but you got others. I mean, we just, and when we talk about leads on inventory and it doesn't matter new or used, you want to turn that inventory, but in order to do that, you got to get eyeballs. And once you get these eyeballs, they give up on them. If the customer isn't replying, if the car isn't still in stock that they want it, we pretty much just get rid of them after 20, 30 days. And, and the customer, they don't know where the customers are buying. It's like, how do we know? And the other thing is you got to work the, I like saying work the driveway, not just the lead. My wife submitted a lead on a car. We bought one, but no one followed up with her. And a matter of fact, I went through four transactions of acquiring cars in less than 12 months. I co-signed for my son. My 16-year-old needed a vehicle. My 21-year-old, her lease was up on her Honda. We acquired that car, but we we're going to maybe buy something else. And my wife's lease was up and we bought her a car. But when she submitted a lead, once once the car sold and once she didn't get back to him, because we had six-month time frame we're we started in January. We could have went to June. They give up on her and they missed out on all these four opportunities. So many opportunities to me, that's the up us. It really does exist. You don't have to wait for it. It's in your data. And so that's why I realized, man, when you manage inventory and leads, um, there's so much opportunity, but CRMs only talk about leads and not cars and inventory tools talk about cars and not leads. And these two worlds need to go together. And it's just sitting there waiting. The up bus is sitting there idling and it's full of people. Yes sitting in your dealership and no one does anything about it. It's crazy. But, but Jason, you're, you're so a hundred percent right. You know, and look, this is the, one of the things, you know, look, I know on this podcast, we've talked a lot about different subjects and stuff like that. And, you know, we, we, we've kind of, you know, we never really kind of dive depth into what you guys do and your offering, but I mean, you know, look, I'm, I'm very intimate with you guys' solution. And if and it, it would be, it, you know, if, if I was to go back and do another dealership, it'd be a core of my operations because look, look, data is only as good as how well I can take action on it. And you mm -hmm. guys are perfect fighting, you know, that opportunity. And I can see this. I look, Jason, it makes sense. The more and more we talk about this, I can see why you physically bought a bus. <laughs> We're actually going to do this thing. And just put the dang thing in our booth and say, look at it. It's sitting there. But because that's what you guys do, though. That's what you guys do, you know, uh, you know, but you're 100 percent right. I mean, look, a lead comes in. Right. If, if the vehicle has been sold, thank you very much. It's been sold. That, that That's the default. Right. We don't think of other vehicles and other switch opportunities. And, you know, we don't we don't approach it from a proactive you know, perspective. I mean, that's what I think when I think kind of that 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 up awesome what that embodies is, you know, you're always being proactive. You're not waiting for something to come about. Right. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I can't believe you built it though. So I got to come see this. The stupidest thing I did or the most ingenious thing. So let's see how it pans out. Look, I, I am. I'm look, I'm literally, I'm going to book my flight right now. All right. Uh, hey, if you're out there watching and listening to this, all right, this is, this is, this is happening. This is what I'm, I'm, I'm going to book my flight. All right. I'm coming to Kansas city. All right. I am going to, you know to, what we should do? Bring, we should take it to, we should actually drive it up to a couple dealers and pull up and let them say, here comes the up. Here it is. The up bus is here. 
the, 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 the actual physical pull it up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm in. I'm in. Count me in. Let's do this. All, All right. right. Um, I'm. You know what? I'm gonna book it right now. I'm gonna do it right now. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm getting off this thing. I'm gonna book my flight. I'm coming to Kansas City. All right. Uh, there, there's a Southwest flight. I think it's like an hour and forty minutes. I'm in. We got a brand new airport. It'd be nice for you to see if you haven't seen it yet. Less than a year old. Can I drive it? Can I drive it? Do I get? To oh, drive you it? can drive it. Yeah, I don't think you need the CDL for this one. I think we're okay. I don't, I don't know. know. At least, at least you can drive it. I just, I just want to say once in my life, I got to drive the up bus. There like you go. I just. <laughs> Well, if an ADA, at least people can started. come inside the up bus. Well, you know, I have some ideas what we're going to do on the inside, make it kind of an attraction when dealers come by the booth. Dude, I like, I, I okay, I'm like, I've been to NADA a lot, right? I understand the whole concept of a booth. And I've seen airplanes there, you exactly. know, but at first I'm like, can we have the bus there? I'm like, well, shoot, they got planes, they got RVs, Ford has 20 cars sitting there yeah. at their booth. We can have the up bus. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I've asked people who have been there like 20, 30 years. I'm like, have you ever seen an up bus? You ever seen it? And they said, no. I said, all right, well, now I'm going to pull this thing off. Let's see if we can do this. All right. You guys heard it right here. All right. Jason Rice built the unicorn. Now the bus physically exists and it is coming to NADA. I'm booking my flight to come see it now. I, I, I got to sh- look, I'll come out. We'll do some video. I'll take you to a couple dealerships. You said, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Right. Okay. Uh, everyone out there watching, listening, stay tuned here. Um, we're going to, our next, our uh, next episode will be from the actual up. That's going to be great. All right. I'm going to zoom everything. It's great. My flight now. Let's do this. All right. Let's get it. Hey guys, what's going on? Okay. So I just got off the phone with Jason Rice. I just booked my flight. I'm heading over there right now. All right, we're gonna go check this thing out. What's going on, everybody? I finally made it here. We're at the lot pop office. Jason's inside. He says he did this crazy thing and built the up bus. We're here to check it out. Follow me. Let's go. Look, guys, the up bus logo. It's here. It's going to be here. Hey, guys, there's Jason right there. See, he's busy working. What are you doing here? I, you told me you built this bus. I got on a plane. I'm here. Well, I didn't think you're actually gonna do it. Well, of course I am. Oh shit! You tell me that you build the unicorn of our industry, and I'm not gonna jump on a plane and come down here and check it out. I didn't know. I didn't. You know, it's car good. guys. You know, sometimes they they make shit up. Sometimes. <laughs> it's good to see you. Man. <laughs> then you gotta go see it then. Now, it's not all done yet, but we're getting there, and we're gonna have this thing ready to roll. All right, let's go take a look. All right, let's go. All right. Follow me. Let's go. What? You Come didn't on. believe me. You didn't believe me. You're but kidding here me. Here we go. You actually. <laughs> Look at this pretty <laughs> thing. made it. I told you, man. Look at this. Thing. I don't play around. <laughs> this is like a 30 foot, 12 ton. I don't ton know how many, if anybody's ever bus. done this before, so it might be the silliest thing or the best thing Dude. I've ever done. But we're going to be able this to use so this cool. for multiple aspects. This is going to, this is so cool. Like, I want to do is I want to try to get this thing pulled up in some of see. our dealerships here. Let's get this pull this thing up. That Look at this cool. layout. Holy. over the fact that you actually decided to build this thing like it is just way too cool man well it's a big commitment and you know to be honest <laughs> what you know when you do these booths and stuff it's not cheap and we we're doing a 30 by 30 and i was trying to figure out a way that as we rent this booth 
is there something tangible I could take something back? Can like, and at least <laughs> as much as I'm spending. So the up bus came as an idea, but again, it comes with working these leads and stuff and understanding yeah. that, you know, there's opportunities. Dealers don't have to wait for the up bus. It's sitting there in a the dealership. So it's going to be fun. We're going to put it in our booth at NADA. Uh, dude, that's, um, it's going to be so cool. Because we had a 30 by 30. <laughs> when we got the quote for our booth, I'm like, how much? And I'm like, and I'm renting it? And I got nothing to show? <laughs> and I, got, and I, I said, what if I this? filled it up with one of these? Bots. Yes. <laughs> And then I asked uh, people around that's been to NADA for like 20, 30 yeah. years. I said, hey, have you ever seen anybody Yeah, I've never do seen anybody the do bus? anything like this before. And they said, no. I said, all right, either this is going to be the stupidest thing I did or, or it's going to be the freaking coolest no, thing I think you, I did. You, you, talk of the show, hopefully. 100%, you got a total winner out there yeah. for sure. I mean, like I said, it just, it's just so nostalgic. You know, it's so automotive, right? Yeah. And the fact that it's actually there and I get to take a picture of it, like... I, I think everyone's going to enjoy it. I, I, like I said, I can't wait to actually get this thing on the road and go do a couple of podcasts. I'm so stoked to do that. But, you know, I mean, it, it embodies just, you know, that proactiveness. To your point, what you were saying, right? It's like dealerships, they have an up bus. It's there. They just need to actually take control of it rather than just waiting around for it to yeah, show up. Yeah, instead of be reactive, be proactive. Exactly. Instead of waiting around for something to happen or that new lead to come in, what about that 30-day old lead on a truck that sold? Do we have other opportunities to sell them other trucks? And exactly. And when we found 60 to 70% of dealers' leads are on vehicles sold, recycle those leads. And most of the time, it's a 30-day old lead. I've been calling an email. The car they want, it's sold. They, they move it to loss and wait for the next lead. In reality, we need to recycle those leads. Or maybe I got a truck with only one lead and I can't get a hold of it. Just well, is that, so do I drop the price to do, do another bus. lead? <laughs> no, you got five or ten other people looking for a truck at that price yeah. point. See if you can switch them. So the up bus, again, is literally sitting there. Um, but no one's really put leads and cars uh, together in one tool. You got a CRM, you got an inventory yep. tool. Nobody's put these two worlds together. And as we're doing this, it's like, man, there's so much opportunities. And this up bus is always that <laughs> mythical thing floating out there. And it's, you, it's you there are, now. You are Mr. Pro active man it so is. it doesn't surprise me you guys have built one of the most proactive tools on the market and it doesn't surprise me that you take something that our industry jokes about being reactive and turn it into a an opportunity to be proactive yeah. so and it's the physical embodiment of it so it's, so awesome. it's, a, it's a twofold thing I get it to use it at the at the event yeah. at NADA and um, you know I didn't know what to do with the inside it could sit 20 but we gutted that out and we put in some cool stuff in there we're gonna have our swag we're kind of like a VIP yeah the come lounge. To our VIP Love lounge it. and set time aside with myself or maybe my VP and stuff and then once we're done with it, I can utilize because we do it. We have a used car 20 group that's right here in this building. Mm -hmm. The hotels across the street, we can use it to shuttle them back and forth, you know. And to your point, we can go visit dealers, do interviews with them. I could take it to other events. And so it was a, it was a no brainer to spend 27 a chunk foot, of that money there. 10 ton mascot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very, very cool. Yeah, it is. And honestly, I can't just, I can't believe I'm saying that a school bus actually makes is practical sense, but it actually for you it actually does seem to be a practical thing. To now do. it's an older bus that we you know with the beauty about buses you can't tell they're aged, and so once we redid it and wrapped it, the thing looked brand new. It looks awesome. But it's got the best diesel engine Ford has ever built in it. I mean, shoot, I can just use that engine alone for something <laughs> just if I wanted to. So no, it's going to be a fun thing. Going to go a million miles. It. Yeah, yeah. And that bus is going to see some. Some road usage. So the idea is, I got a couple of dealers local in mind that I'd okay. like for you to pull that thing up, see what I'm the reaction totally is. Totally looking forward to this. Let's get let's get it into a couple of dealerships here and let's uh, interview them, see what they, you know, what's happening at their store, what's going on. But pull that thing up and get a reaction from their sales team. And see I'll get out there, we'll get some reactions, man. All right. yeah. Hey, dude, this That'd is so cool. I you I you said it. you did it. You 100 percent did it. You guys have now seen it. We ain't messing now, around. We ain't messing around. Now I'm gonna take the bus and we're gonna go visit some dealers. Let's go. I've been waiting for this my whole life. And thank you for joining me on an episode of The Up Bus. It does exist. The Up Bus. Thanks for tuning in to The Up Bus Podcast with your hosts, Jason Harris and Jason Rice. To stay up to date with all our content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Happy podcasting.